Oh, uh, another massive. strong female lead. Yay! I like Bo Katan. <laughs> I like her too. I like Bo Katan. You as know who else character. I liked? Din Djarin. <laughs> Green. Who are they going to fight? <laughs> Who the fuck are they going to fight? Kingpin in a wheelchair? Like, <laughs> who the fuck is the next Avengers going to fight? <coughs> Kingpin in a wheelchair. Who are they going to fight? Well, like, I mean, the bad guy has to be a white male. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And he's going to be bumbling and fumbling. and yep. st- As I he mean, should. He'll probably run As like a should. bad racketeering scheme. <laughs> he make a- Bubble Fett lost its way, but then Mando came back and saved it. They and needed a guy from another show. They did. And I will Can even- you imagine if Seinfeld sucked so bad that you had to bring in Frazier? Like, he had to just show up <laughs> and save the show? Holy fuck! I really hope I don't get mauled by a grizzly bear this week. Yeah, that that uh, makes for a bad day. Yeah, yeah. And with my luck, that's how I'm gonna go. Well, I mean, you don't go to their house; they won't get you. That's true. <laughs> but I have a crazy little white girlfriend that's let's do a hiking, <laughs> hiking in bear territory. Well, I got good news for you bear stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah, I learned tactics that I will share with you on, on the podcast. Is it like a, a jiu-jitsu tactic? Because I'm not interested. <laughs> I, I suspect these are not good tactics. Yeah, me too. I no, no, hold on a second. They're good tactics. Is it like a, is it like a sweep? <laughs> I, I don't know how it's going to, you know. We'll, we'll go right into bear country. Okay, Let's I was going to say. Because yeah. bear bear, bears don't really do jiu-jitsu. They do sambo. <laughs> so. Oh, they do a lot more than sambo. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah. They eat your ass first. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and they, they, I mean, that's they, like the forbidden right. dance, if you yeah. have anything, right? And they don't, uh, they don't wait for you to die either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they do not. As soon as they get a hold of you, they just start eating your yeah. ass first. Speaking of ass first, <laughs> what? welcome to the Silver Kingdom Podcast. <laughs> All right. With your host, Nelson. I'm Ian. And yes. And there is really no graceful way to start the podcast for us. We no. prefer it that way. And talking about bears eating you ass first. That's yep. right. So we're talking bears. And it's funny because I was listening to another podcast, uh, the Conan O'Brien podcast, which I oh, love. Okay. Yep. And they were actually talking about bears. And the one Conan, great source for, for bear, really yeah. legitimate facts. When I think or, of, he is a yeah. survival specialist, yes, When sir. I think ursine facts, I think Conan O'Brien. <laughs> You are correct. <laughs> However, he did at the very end of the podcast, in order to correct the bullshit that they were saying, they're like, we should actually have someone who knows about bears. And like, he put like a special 10 minute segment to be like, please don't listen to what the fuck I said. Here's some actual sound advice from an expert on okay. bears. Oh, okay. So fun fact, you are less likely to be attacked in a group of three than as in a group of two. So if it's just going to be you and your significant other. How's this help me? I'm in a group of two. <laughs> you're a group of two, so you're fucked. Right. Next. Nice. Okay, move on to something more. If it's brown, lay down. If it's black, they will attack. <laughs> that's, that sounds racist. If it's but... white, good night. So basically, polar bear sees you, you dead. Yeah. Right. Black bear sees you. They They say that, like, the chance that you do have is to make a lot of noise, be loud, Try to create enough of a presence that from a distance can scare them away. But chances are they're going to attack you. Got it. Brown bear, chances are they're going to attack you. But if you lay down and play dead, you have a more likelihood of, of, of surviving. And in all three of these instances, they're like, the likelihood of being attacked either way is highly probable. <laughs> <laughs> but these give you your best chances for survival. Yeah. Nice. Um, and, uh, so what basically what brought it on is he had now, a guest. My, my opinion on your best chance of survival is high caliber. High caliber. Right. <laughs> right. Or, or don't Which, go there. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. It's like, you don't get bit in a shark if you don't put your feet yeah. in the water. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't get, can't, can't get attacked by a shark if you're not in the ocean. Yeah. Right. So, so what part of bear country are you going to? Montana. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm going to like their, their. Epicenter. <laughs> so, so which do you know which trails you're gonna go to? Or Not to sure. Go? I'm flying into Kalispell, like Glacier National Park, and we'll we'll see. Nice, man. It sounds we'll nice, see. though, right? It's an adventure. Oh, it's beautiful, right? Yeah. Up until that bear bites your ass. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, are you gonna bring bear mace or bear I mean, spray? If they have bear spray out there, I'll purchase it. But I mean, yeah. I, I don't know. It like, sounds like a solid thing to buy. <laughs> I mean, right? You yeah. don't want to be the guy who's yeah. like, "Fuck! I should have bought spent the fifteen dollars yeah. for bear it, mace." It and seems you like didn't. the bare minimum item. Yeah. Yeah. 
I guess, but I mean, like, if that bear wants to kill you, it's, it's yeah, look, kill you. if the it wants to kill you, you're you're dead. The problem yeah. is, you'll, is, you'll taste a little spicier. That's my thing. Like, yeah, I, I'm just gonna be spicy yeah. hiker. Like, I'm not like, and like with you in the woods, the bear might mistaken you for one of its own. Maybe even try to mate with you or something. <laughs> I don't know if I'd rather get eaten or raped by a bear. Probably eaten. The emotional scars I, I would carry forever. Yeah, I do know don't bring any cocaine because cocaine bear attacks are far worse. Maybe I should bring cocaine because if I can, I can do the cocaine <laughs> and maybe be able to fight the bear off. Or it'll numb some of the pain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's more I mean, likely. I could bring a small caliber handgun so I could shoot myself in the head. Yeah. And then, that, that, that then, works then, it won't, then it won't hurt. No, but I mean, look, the revenant, right? Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio survived the bear mauling. You can too. No. no. <laughs> I mean, in, in all likelihood, he would have died. Yeah. I oh, mean, yeah. That's, he would have died yeah. twice. Yeah. You know, there's a growing theme in Hollywood with Leonardo DiCaprio. They just want to leave him to die, right? Yeah. Isn't this fucked yeah. up? He goes you through know? some shit in all his he movies. Does. He does. He does. He does. Yeah. I, I, I just, you know, my goal is hopefully go out there and just don't encounter a bear. <laughs> yeah. I, I think hope, that's, I hope that's I do some pretty, hiking and never yes. see them. Pretty solid goal when you go hiking. Yeah. No so, bears. So no we, bears, please. We do have to address the fact that last week, yep. we did not put out a podcast. Yep. And we, well, we don't, did, but we didn't. We recorded it. We were here, right? Yeah. We did the thing. Sitting where you see us. It was a lot of fun, and we're not going to point any fingers at Edward, who fucked it all up, but we're going to say that Edward fucked it all up. I'm not saying it, that. <laughs> that's, Ian, that's what you texted me. You're like, blame I, your brother. I'm I want to see proof of this. I, I, here, hold on. Let me show we, you right we now. We had about... Show, uh, show it the text. Oh man, I deleted. Oh, you deleted, I deleted the chat. It. <laughs> it was there. It was Actually, there. no, you didn't. I can. Uh, oh, you know, I, I, have yeah. a chat. I have our conversations <laughs> oh, for the last hold on. month. Hold on a second, bro. No, well, okay, what? Right, okay. We oh, had. Uh, Let's not bring up the past. Okay. Yeah, we had about three minutes of footage, and that was about it. Oh well, oh, man. it was probably we could we could have just put it out and no. said this is the three minutes. <laughs> The three minute uh, episode. I mean, all things considered, uh, the amount of episodes we've done, we've only lost two. No, actually, it's a really good track record. And look, yeah. technical And the one we just didn't happen. put out because, you know. Yeah. Yeah. He's a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> Wildly inappropriate shit happened in yeah. that episode yeah. where we're like, but, you know, we cannot have this. Yeah. <laughs> actually, two episodes we didn't Ever. put out because there yes. was another holiday special. There was, was another holiday yeah. really special. But for well, other... I was in a polar bear suit. And then immediately after the podcast, I was punched in the face. <laughs> There was, there was holiday Unrelated. Cheer. Unrelated. Completely unrelated. unrelated punch it was in the unrelated face. to the polar bear suit. It really was. It had it nothing was. to do with the polar bear suit. But we just established polar bears do attack. They do. And you have to fend for yourself, right? No. White, good night. <laughs> White, good night. Yeah. That's where the punch came in. Oh, okay. All right. White, I'm good night. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Never mind. Somebody's got, got a good I understand good the rules now. So here's what I have to retcon for us is because... I don't believe we did put out the fact that we discussed the acolyte in the first place. Yeah. So in order to talk shit about the third episode, yeah. we do have to talk about the first two episodes. And to I be don't. fair, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say in the past, <laughs> and I don't admit this very often. Nelson right? loved it. He loved episode one and two. He, you were there. He, he, you he were there. Yeah. He was he did say, evangelizing right. from the top of the hills. Oh, great. Because he says. Better than me. And he yeah, said, he did. He, he, did. Did. he did. He said, and I, he's like, he's like, he's like, it was good. And he said it with enthusiasm. He said it was good. And when he said that, every molecule in my body shifted but I, a little. But I, I like, did oh, also fuck. say, I did a, with a caveat, is that I'm going to continue to watch it and see where this goes. So you because, watched episode three. <laughs> I did. And to, so to now sum, it's summar- canon. It's canon. It's, it's canon. Yeah. It's part su- of the Star Wars universe. To summarize episode three, it is that way before Darth Plagueis, lesbian, a lesbian witch cult space created witches. life. Yes. Who way before Darth Plagueis figured it out. Immaculate Jedi conception. Yeah. Well, they're not Jedi. They're they they in fact at one point they even say they that they're, they're the thread. It's not the force. Yeah. It's the thread now. They worth like the Darth Doth Murky? What was the the other witches that used I, the thread theme with I, the green and all that other good stuff? I have no idea. I'm but not they, sure, but they they, they, they said fuck. the thread is a force that that it cannot be used to hurt. It's the Correct. thread. And then immediately after in the next scene, she uses the thread to slam a woman against the wall. And I'm like, what who the fuck is writing this? So it can't who? be used to hurt, but you can use it to force choke innocent flying creatures. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. Anakin, not special. No, nope. fuck him. Correct. Nope. Um, and the Jedi apparently are all fucking idiots. 
Just the men. And, just the men. No, just and, the men. Just the men. Yeah. Uh, the witches Female are all capable. Created. <laughs> <laughs> all Jedi are not created equal. No. no. Created uh, evil idiots. One that's too dumb to protect themselves by capturing the person that's Correct. bespurching their good name. And Correct. one that just decides to stop floating in midair and, and eat poison. And the other one who around. decides <sighs> the way to stop the thing I don't like happening is murder everybody. But he had the coolest Jedi the ability fuck? I've seen in forever. Floating in the air, meditating with the force bubble so strong it cannot be penetrated to kill him yeah. even when he's not paying attention. And supposedly he hadn't been eating in years and shit. I'm like, it's fucking dope. It's lazy writing. He's a, <laughs> he's, it's, he's a badass. He's the Buddha of Jedi. So badass that he just stops floating and eats poison. And eats poison. Yeah. It's how enlightened are you? Poison that was given to her by a guy who apparently she met with before and who knew about this but said, Oh, I'm not gonna give her the yeah. poison now. But yeah. you can't be I'll wait till she comes back after she fails. <laughs> you can't reach like this new level of enlightenment and you're supposed to be this Jedi, this Zen character, and then all of a sudden you're like, you know what, you're right. I should take the poison. Like what? It is the opposite it, of enlightenment. If it, anything, you should have reached the point where you have forgiven yourself. You're right. This yourself. entire show is yeah. the opposite of enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars for the last five years has been the opposite of no, enlightenment. No, no. The Mandalorian was a saving grace. The first season? Yeah. The first two seasons, I'll give The Mandalorian. The first two seasons were fucking great. They were fucking. Your your the first season was fucking. Great. The first the first season was fucking. Great. You gotta go now, back to the second is it season. even? Is it even? You're thinking about Boba Din Djarin? Is it even Din Djarin now? It's I not. thought they gave it to Bo Katan now. They are gonna be giving it to Bo Katan. Wow. Uh, Another season. strong female lead. Yay! I like Bo Katan. I like it too. I like Bo Katan. You as know who else character. I liked? Din Djarin. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Mandalorian. Wow. What do you have against strong female leads, sir? Oh, nothing. I loved it when it was Ray. I loved it when it was the girl in the acolyte. I yeah. loved it when it was fucking. Uh, uh, Bo Katan. I love it. Keep uh, it coming. Are you saying that there's They're a so theme? successful? Are you saying that there's a theme happening? A theme they, that Disney trying to force down our throats? Absolutely not. If, if no. the theme is failure, they're doing a good job at they're it. They're setting the bar for failure. Oh, yes. Din, yeah. Din Dijarin. <laughs> Let me uh this is just for giggles That's a bad and bad motherfucker. It, just for giggles and shits. Uh I'm gonna look up the review I mean, rating the, right now for the, uh, it's yeah. gotta be trash. Oh, it's, it's gotta, gotta be, be amazing. So bad right now. I'm sure the critics love just it. Just destroying some of the canon and some of the most important bits of 84% for the critics. Uh-huh. Yep. 15% average audience score. Yep. yep. That sums it up. Surprise, and who's surprise. watching it? Who's the fan base? The Not audience. the fucking critics. No. no. Not the tiny no. group of no. critics. And and you have to go back to who are they making it for? Because it, it, it makes no sense. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> the director to is making it for herself. Positively <laughs> expand sure. the lore of Star Wars. And it's almost undoing. The most important, the first three movies, the whole thing with sure. Darth Vader, with Anakin and all that, where it's like, it's no longer he's special. Yeah. Other motherfuckers could have done it, and they, they did special. it, and they made twins. Yes. Like, yeah, it's, I agree. it's becoming a little silly. Yeah, and I get what George Lucas did. He created something magical and something that he enjoyed, and it got right. so big that he took his creativity out of it. He said, all right, it's everyone's now. It's yours. Right. I made right. it big. I made it wonderful. Everyone loves it. Yeah. Here. And Disney just shit on it. Yeah. Just shit all over it. I, I feel bad for people, because I was never a big Star Wars fan. Yeah. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was cool. Jedis are awesome. Yeah. You have to be yeah. a young guy watching it. But I feel, bad for, pe I feel bad for people that this is their thing. Yeah. Like, th they love Star Wars. They play the games. They read the books. They get yeah. the action figures. This is. I feel bad for diehard fans, because now is not the fucking time to be a Star no. Wars fan. But, but there, there, there is the other side of Star Wars that's still doing very, very well, and that's the cartoons. Mm -hmm. If okay. you watch the cartoons, if you haven't, the cartoons, uh, all they're always staying true to the lore. I need to force to get to this fucking chocolate <laughs> out of this. Okay, I'm good. I'm fine. We're so good. just like what was happening with Sorry. the Marvel movies after a I'm while, better. we went back to X-Men 97, and X-Men 97 delivered the goods. I can honestly say, if you watch the Star Wars cartoons, they're still really doing well. Now look at this. Well. X-Men 97 is exactly what everybody wanted. Yes. Right. And Marvel is doing fuck all to push it out there. No, they aren't. No. They're doing nothing. Right. Nothing. But they didn't it's, really need to because it, it already killed on its own purely by word of mouth. But they should be promoting it. They yeah. should. They, they should. should be doing something more with it. But they, they barely said a whisper when it was coming out. Yep. And it was the only reason it managed to get anywhere was because fans enjoyed it so much yeah. that they, through word of mouth, got Spread people it. watching it. 
Marvel if, didn't do anything. To if push anyone it out asks there. me, I tell them X Men ninety seven is the best thing Marvel has if, done. On if Disney I was Plus. Marvel Studios, I would say, you know what, people, we're gonna go live action Marvel ninety seven style, and we're gonna bring you the X Men back. Leave the Avengers alone for a while, right? Yeah. And go into let's let's go into the other side of Marvel here for a little while. Give can you imagine a break from this can and you come into this? The next Avengers movie. They with, have with fucking She Hulk and the the, the so it's and, I was gonna tell you Miss Marvel and uh, this is what they have coming up. What's so, the Def Chick Echo? Yes, I mean they, Deadpool I mean, and Wolverine. Who are they gonna fight? <laughs> who the fuck are they gonna fight? Kingpin in a wheelchair? Like, <laughs> who the fuck is the next Avengers gonna fight? <laughs> Getting pinned in a wheelchair. Who are they gonna fight? Well, I mean, the bad guy has to be a white male. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And he's gonna be bumbling and fumbling, and yep. as I mean, he should, he'll probably run as like a should. bad racketeering scheme. <laughs> you, make, you make them sound <laughs> like they're gonna go after politicians at this point. It might, <laughs> it's gonna be Joe Biden. It's gonna be Joe. The Biden. Avengers are fighting Joe I, Biden. I want to say they're gonna go after the the senator from the X Men. Yeah. Um, oh, there we go. Yes, yes. So we got Deadpool and Wolverine coming out July. Yeah, fantastic. And that, and Looking that, forward and to it. And that's good because at least. With Marvel, we have something coming down the pipe that we know is going to be good. Yes. With yeah. Star Wars, they don't have that. They, What's coming down the pipe that we're like, oh, this is going to be The Mandalorian be movie. I'm still looking forward to that. They're going to wrap up everything in a tight little bow. To me, Hopefully. Star Wars wise. I, I, I'm sorry, man. That, if, I, if, I'm buy, if I'm buying real estate there, I'm, I'm not buying you, it. I still love The Mandalorian. I'll stand by it. I Mobile like it fan. too. Boba Fett lost its way, but then Mando came back and saved it. They and needed a guy from another show. They did, and I will. Can even- you imagine if Seinfeld sucked so bad that you had to bring in Frazier, like he had to just show up <laughs> and save the show? Holy fuck! Fair like, enough. Fair enough. Like it was doing so bad that they had to fire the director and hold on, bring in like yes. you know. But fuck all that aside. Mandalorian still did the thing and saved it. And even with the new iteration, with the new... Where, where was he in the acolyte? <laughs> Is he coming in episode he six? He can't save everything. He's got so many jobs. <laughs> He's going to be Mr. Fantastic soon. So they can't bring him to save everything. But I agree yeah. with you. All right. But even then, moving on to the next part of the Mandalorian, I love Bo-Katan as a character. Love what she's doing with it. And I'm excited to see the next season with her as the lead as a whole. Because even this last season, the third... I felt like she was side by side as far as Mando's equal was concerned because they were leaning into making her the next mm-hmm. character. And I actually think it would be cool if moving forward every, every yeah. season they bring in a new Mandalorian, they man, can, woman, or whatever. They can pass it off every two, three seasons. Yeah. And you get one for you, one that's a share, and one where you're passing it off, yeah. and you just keep yeah, rotating I, through. I would be cool with that because then you're keeping the story going. Um, after Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm not cool with the director of the Acolyte doing anything. <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna tell you. She can make I agree. she can make independent films for her audience. I think she leave franchises alone. I think she's shit, and she's fucked up for trying to yeah, impose this, her will. This is bad. Yeah, it's bad. and it's blatantly bad. It like is. it's just blatantly it is. bad. And what's what's I was so excited. I'm not a Star Wars fan, and I'm like, bro, this is horrible. I was so excited going into it. Like, finally, it's going to be like assassins versus Jedi, old school shit. Yep. No. And they're fucking it up. They're fucking it up. No. They're fucking it up in a big no. way. I Sometimes, some, and, and looking at it and reading about it and knowing the lead up to it, I was not excited, and I kind of knew what it was going to be. It, it really should have been like an entire episode <sighs> to kill like one Jedi. Like, the whole episode is like a whole thing to get to like, the, and you can move it along that way and give little bits of the story along sure. yeah. versus like kind of like she's killing Jedis within five minutes of an episode. Yeah, yeah and Jedi are a it, lot. A it's lot. a little silly. It should be like a whole big thing to manage to put the Jedi in a position mm-hmm. remember the where Je- they're going to end up dying. Remember, it shouldn't remember be the so Jedi, fucking easy. Remember the Jedi fighting like the army of the clones? Like, like yeah. they're getting shot at with thousands, thousands of beams yes. and they're just fucking deflecting yes. them and blowing yes. people yeah. away. Like, no, now, apparently, now there's like now they're dying with like a kitchen knife in their chest. Uh, apparently, and you like, can just say in the background. Don't, the you, one, don't you feel bad? Drink the poison. <laughs> and exactly. Then you're dead. What the fuck? And, and in yeah. the background of the one episode, there was a fat guy. <laughs> I gotta pull this up. I, th- listen, I'm not letting this go. I, I'm not a fat shamer. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But in the background, he's wearing a Jedi outfit. He's in the Jedi Temple. All right, yes. when the Jedi Temple is at it's the High Republic. The Jedi Temple is mm-hmm. at its peak. Yep. There's a fucking fat guy. And he's like a little fat kid. And no! <laughs> Jedi are supposed to push their mind and body to the apex. Yeah, like, if, oh, that's all they what do. If is, he, the, what if that no, is his apex? No. What if that is his that apex? That is not the fucking apex of anyone's body. <laughs> no. If 
Roy Nelson was a Jedi, he would look better. I'm sorry. If Andy Ruiz was a Jedi, he would look better. No. What's the no, name of I'm, that? I'm, I'm, I'm what's the name of that big fat transvestite? Gorlock the Destroyer. <laughs> what if that? that what if that not is, a Jedi? That is her. Height <laughs> no. Of her, his. No. Body's apex. She, she has a better. Is, cast her as the Rancor. <laughs> <laughs> cast her as the Rancor. Would you not like not to the see the Jedi? Would you not like to see them go toe to toe? No. I don't <laughs> want to see Gorlock's <laughs> toes. <laughs> I was so mad when I and saw that. And that says pat- a lot that you don't want to see somebody's toes. I was about to say, bro. <laughs> that says a lot. I have no interest. That says a lot. Well, yeah. it's a man, so. Okay, well, uh, this is true. This yeah, is yeah, true. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's a fat guy in the background. I'm like, listen, nothing against fat people, but listen, Jedi are the apex. <laughs> yeah. Okay? It's like if you, you had 300. You're correct. It's You're like correct. if we were watching a 300 movie, and the one fucking Spartan is fucking sporting a big old gut and tits. <laughs> and it's like, wait a minute, who let homie onto the 300? <laughs> Like I thought this was a th- like, all right, whose cousin is that? Yeah, is Jeff, that, is that Jeff? Like, Jeff, did, get the fuck yeah. out of here. We told you to stay home. Well, King Leonidas. You're not a Spartan. King Leonidas <laughs> took 300 of the best. The, the best, best of the, the best. best. And Jedi are supposed to be the best. They're uh, supposed to train uh, all their life. I mean, you got a room full of kids. None of them are fucking fat. Yes. And they're all praying and like, they, I see fire. And they, but they all they, got slaughtered. When did they, they become all got fat? Slaughtered. When did they become fat? They all got slaughtered. At so how good were they? How good were they? They all died. And if, I guess you can float in space. <laughs> you can float in one place for ten years and not eat. So why the fuck didn't fat ass do it? Uh, all right, let me tell you. If you were a fat Jedi, he's skipping. He's skipping. He's skipping. He's skipping a lot, and he's eating hot Cheetos. If another you were, thing. If you were a fat Jedi, how many kids could you kill? I don't know. <laughs> Obi Wan can't even catch one kid in this new universe. He can't catch one kid in a fucking crowd. Speaking of Obi Wan Kenobi, and. I like Squid Games. Yes. But Squid Games Jedi? Yeah. yeah he's fuck not, him. He's not killing it. He's no, not fuck him. He's, he he's, gave he's, a lightsaber to a child. Yeah. He said, hey, you want Not to even a yeah. Jedi child. He, like, tried to bribe her to become a Jedi. Yeah. Here, here's one of the most dangerous yeah. weapons in the don't, galaxy. Don't press the on switch by mistake. Careful. Don't look into it when you hit the button. So is that the, fucking burn a hole through your head? Is that the equivalent of a Jedi in a white van saying, hey, kids, I got some candy? It's the, yeah. it's the equivalent of the U.S. Yeah. Army trying to recruit a child, and so he hands him a fucking desert eagle. Here you go, son. I'm in. Look what we can give you in the U.S. I'm Army. I'm in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Speaking of Obi Wan Kenobi. Fuck the accolade. I'm sorry. Okay. No, I'm no. We're gonna, we're gonna say fuck. I the got accolade. ammo for days on and, that show. And because we're talking in the same vein of I was wrong. Okay. It's not even that you were wrong. No, no. I was. You trying were. To give you it a were shot. a Star Wars fan. I am. And, and I'm you trying to give believe. it a shot. I'm trying to give it a shot. You know. I sat down to watch. <laughs> I sat down to watch a musical to try to. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Right. Yeah, hold on. This is what I'm trying to tell hold you. Hold the phone. Can we? Can you repeat he's, what you just he's said? He's pre- for he's the prepping for Joker two. I'm prepping for Joker two. Yeah, I'm. I'm, yeah. I'm sweating. I mean, a I'm, bit. I'm a nurse. I'm Are you all right? Man? A bit. So I'm like, okay. I promised check, Ian. Check I promised Ian Joker two. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. So what the hell did you watch to get up to it? Okay. So I figured start with a classic. Okay. Right. What is a classic that? Obi Wan Kenobi was in. I was looking at the the cast members. He was in a musical. He was actually a lead in this musical. I'm drunk. I don't watch musicals, so I got I got got nothing. Moulin Rouge. Oh, okay. All right, that's solid. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I'm not even crazy about that one. Wow. I was I was was looking. I was looking into your daughter. No, no. I was just I was uh, online. I was like, this sounds like something she held you. No, (laughs) online. I'm like, all right. Let me let me start with a classic. It was either gonna be like that. We were on a long drive or a plane or like Les Mis. Were you forced to watch this? It it was it was not by force. (laughs) If you watched Les Mis, voluntary, bro, voluntary, bro. If you watched Les Mis, I would give you a standing ovation. I did not. I did not. Three hours. I'm working. Listen, bro. I'm working my way. So that I that's can like D musical. That's my favorite like, musical. <laughs> this is like prepping for a fight, right? Okay. You know what I mean? Like you just can't just walk into a theater and be like, right, I'm gonna watch the Joker. Yeah, don't start with Lay Miz. I tried to make my girlfriend watch Lay Miz. She hated it. <laughs> she fucking hated it. She mean, hated me you mean for they, a while. You mean the thing called The Miserables? The Miserables. Yes. <laughs> There's not a lot of happiness in it. It's not the feeling that you're gonna get when watching it, right? <laughs> it's got great, great songs in it. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, sure it I'm does. Sorry, I'm sorry. What I what I've come to realize and that I forgot is that they don't sing from beginning to end. Yeah. There some, is some yeah. moments of story in between. Right. And they also had Boromir. He was in there. Oh, wow. In this. Okay. Yes, he was. Right. Also, John Lake was Zamo. Okay. Oh, so, shit. So the, the Ned cast. Ned Stark and John Lake was Zamo? Yeah, right. so there was some people in there, because that's what I was looking down the cast. I'm like, okay. Sean I'm going to start somewhere. There's, there's good people in let there. Me, yeah. Let me try this. Sean Bean can't live in anything he's in. Did he live in this movie? <sighs> I'm trying to get there. <laughs> <laughs> he's damaged from the musical. It was, it, was, it was good. It was good. 
Okay. I, I enjoyed it. Acolyte good or good? Acolyte is not good. <laughs> <laughs> you retracted your statement. All right. Acolyte yeah. is not okay, good. Okay, good. All right, that's good. If I had to choose between two, I would absolutely choose watching that again versus wow. any single 30-minute episode. <laughs> any single 30-minute episode of The Acolyte. Okay. And that's where I'm going to leave it. That's fair. I'm gonna and I'm I'm I'll probably watch maybe one more. I haven't decided. Do you have any recommendations for one more for to one watch that you would the like, Joker that, that you I would like? like? Uh, have you seen Sweeney Todd with Johnny Depp? I have not. But Sweeney Todd is it's a musical, mm -hmm. but it's like dark. Uh -huh. It's got Johnny Depp. It's a Tim Burton movie. So okay. you got Helena Bonham Carter. Yep. You got all them fucking. Who's the chick with the big eyes? She's in it. Yeah, yeah. She's um, in everything Johnny Depp is in. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah. Christina Ricci. She's in okay. it. Um, rest his soul but Alan Rickman yeah he was in name. Sleepy in Hollow it. yes with him right? um, so it's dark and spooky and there's a lot of violence he okay. plays Sweeney Todd as a barber yep. who murders butcher people. yeah okay barber butcher. barber Barber. Don't they call him like butcher? He's the butcher of Fleet Street, but there we he, he go. kills yes. people. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's a barber. But yes, I know. Barber. But he lures you upstairs, mm -hmm. cuts your throat, what? and then there's like a the barber chair tips backwards and dumps you through the floor, <laughs> and then the chick he's dating turns you into a meat pie. Yeah, and, uh, serves you. and sells you. It's dark, but yeah. you're gonna Damn. like it. It's okay. a story of revenge, and okay. like, I don't know, if you're gonna watch a musical, watch one okay. where at least you're gonna enjoy the plot. So yeah. that's, that's if you got through Moulin Rouge, brother, you can get through Sweeney Todd. <laughs> right. When you said Moulin Rouge, I was like, bro, like you might as well watch Cats. Like, like now, uh, I would the think CGI twice. cats. Listen, I, yes. Here's the thing. <laughs> this is this is a, this is a fairly new genre to me because the only ones that I've ever watched as a kid that I remembered was Little Shop of Horrors. Yes. Yeah. It's good. And one. Um, Jerry Lewis. All right. Okay. Right. Because we have seen the Dean Martin Jerry Lewis kind of like they played on TV back in the day. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's where I kind of like, ooh, this is kind of cool. And then oh, I hate it. <laughs> it's a hard genre to get into. Yeah, and it's, if it's, it's not your thing, it's really not your thing. Like yeah, it's like yeah. a, it's like someone who's terrified of horror movies. Yes, yes. It doesn't matter what you try to do. No, I'm not going to They're like it. Gonna I'm, be, gonna, yeah, I'm not yeah, going to enjoy yeah. it. So I or me with roller coasters. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter how many times you put me on it. It's not going to be a good time. I hate every second of it. I've tried. <laughs> I leaned in. I watched it. It was good. That is that is my honest review on it. I will take that and. Going forward, the only recommendation I would think would be like, yeah, like, Sweeney uh, Todd. Sweeney Todd. All right, I'm or that show on Amazon that your daughter liked, the, the hotel something has been hotel has been hotel ho mm -hmm. about the hotel in hell. Okay, yeah, that's actually not bad. It's yeah. creative. Well, I watched most of it, and I that's not it yet, that's though. not all musical either. That's like no. a song here and there. Yeah. It's a show with a song here. It's and like there. yeah, what like two maybe three songs in per each episode. episode. Some yeah. episodes maybe even one song. Yeah, like, yeah. it's not it's not that bad. After this, I will say I'm going to still shit on musicals. <laughs> I expect you to. I expect you to. I gotta, I gotta keep the the hope alive for my people. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna say that. So just for this moment, I felt like I'll let it out. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put the the animal back in the cage. <laughs> right. That's fair. That's fair. But I'm proud of you. I'm proud uh, of you. Uh, that's it's not it's easy. Growth. It's growth. It is. Yes. It's not. I mean, there's there's musicals that stand the test of time. Like you got mm -hmm. Grease. You got you know. Um. Oh my God. The, the, what? That, I forgot. Grease. That's another yeah. one that I watched as a kid growing up. That, right. Okay. I like uh, West I Side Story. It. Like, there's there's no. musicals that stand the test of time, but it's like they're classical. They're not yeah. really like a yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. So that that's where that's you could even argue that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I mean, it's mm. it's a movie. Mm. Yeah. But how many songs does he yeah. sing in that? There are a quite a number. There's of a couple them. of them. Maybe yeah. Want to do paradise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's true, that is a musical. Right. But that's something that was, you know, thrown at us as at kids, even in school, that yeah. they made us watch it. And you could movie. argue that all the animated Disney movies, they are essentially <sighs> Ooh, musicals. You're not wrong. Fuck. The classic ones really they are. They are essentially okay, musicals. So look, if we're going to go now down that... Now that abomination, that new Lion King, that's just an ad for Beyonce's <laughs> album, no. If we're going to go not... down that right, like Jungle Book, that yeah. was what, that was my yeah. shit. That was my shit back bare in the day. Necessities, a simple bare necessities. Come on, that shit was yeah. great. Okay, yes. Um, Little Mermaid. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we all watched it. Mulan. Yeah. Yes. Even yes. Tarzan. Tarzan's Tarzan. fucking soundtrack slaps. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking that like <laughs> Phil, Phil Collins did not have to go that hard. No, no he didn't. Like no, when they said, didn't. "Bro," they said, "Phil." We need you to make the soundtrack for yeah. Tarzan. Yeah. It's a movie about a boy it's that like, crashes on an just island. Need, we just need one hit song. Right. One hit song, not a hit album. He sat <laughs> on the beach song. and he lit a piano on fire. And he's like, son of a man, son of a man, we're all to see. I mean, fuck, he went in. Okay. Like, 
I don't but, know how you don't work out. I mean, you, like, that movie starts, I just want to start punching shit. <laughs> I just want to start beating the fucking I, movie. But I don't know. Like, as far as the best Disney musical, then, soundtrack, I think it's The Lion King for me. The Lion King, you can't really argue with it because The Lion King is, like, unanimously it's Elton John. As, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? I mean, you know, it's it's great. To me, I, I picked Tarzan just because... Every fucking song in that movie slaps. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, there's not a bad song in the movie. I'm trying to think of another one that could. There's some songs up. in The Lion King that annoy me. The 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 there Little is. Mermaid had a pretty good um yeah song Hercules in there as well. Hercules has some good songs. songs mm, I mean, the Frozen song was I fucking could go everywhere. The That's true. Frozen yeah. fucking. Murdered and it was. I think. I think. I, it was past my time, but like Frozen, there was it was forced on your throat so much that I hated it. Yeah, like Moana, I went out of my way to watch Moana, yes. so I enjoyed it. Yeah, and yes. I enjoyed the whole Samoan. I didn't know much about Samoan mythology, so I loved Moana. Yes, yes. Like you know, and then like I guess there's gonna be a Moana too now. So yeah, yeah. And they talking about gonna... live action as well. Yeah, I mean, The Rock has to make money. Yeah, he does. He doesn't uh, make he enough just, money. He just got involved with his own uh, movie production company too. Wonderful. So I promise you. Yeah. Shazam. Shazam? Black Adam? Black Adam? <laughs> Black Adam? Black Adam 2. How's he going to get the rights Black to it? Black Adam 2 is How's coming back. How's he going to get the rights to it? I don't know, man. But because he, listen. He'd have to fist fight. What's his name? He, he, he finds... James Gunn. James, yeah. Yeah. He finds his way. He really does. He He's managed like, to do it the first time. Yeah, they but told he, him he couldn't have his own football league. And he brought it back. Yeah, but how well is it doing? It doesn't matter. Uh, to him, he's like, this is a pet project. I mean... I will pay for this out of my I, ass. I personally don't trust The Rock's credibility. I mean, he literally <laughs> he posted a picture of him and Henry Cavill. And he's like, we're going to take over DC. Like, literally a week later. Okay, like, we but fired he, Henry Cavill. He thought that they were going to take over they, DC. That's almost, not his yeah. fault. I don't think he would have done that There was even knew. a cameo at the end of the movie, bro. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That cameo was like, I can't wait to see them fight. I know. Yeah. It was, but that, I, that that must have been some serious work. So I, I imagine yeah. when he got it, he's like, all right. I think they even yeah. flew Henry in like last minute. Oh to make yeah, oh, man. He went out of his way to make that happen because he believed in the project so much. He's like, I want to push this. I believed, but yeah, I was me excited. Too. Me too. I mean, I didn't. It didn't really like. It didn't blow me away. But like when I saw it at the end of the movie, I was like, oh shit. Like, but but oh, to be fair, that's this? that's how he goes about all of the business ventures he's in. He leans hard in, and that's why they are successes. And they're not all going to be successes. He's part owner of like WWE. Come he's got on. his own football league. I mean, The Rock. He's in, he just he's needs in to the run. UFC. He needs to run. Under Armour. He, well, the UFC, he's part owner of the company that owns WWE and UFC. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So The Rock owns everything. So, like, I mean, look, this is a he guy. He just needs to shut the hell up and run for president. <laughs> you have my vote, Rock. I just go. promise you he would become the president. I guarantee it. And there would be can world you, peace. Can you imagine? There would be world peace. Can you imagine the debate? Oh my God! Can you? Uh, even, it doesn't matter. It doesn't you, matter. <laughs> I, mean, I, I would. I lose my fucking mind. Yo, I if he just walked across the stage at rock bottom, anybody, I'm like, you win, sir. I would dress up. I would dress up. If, if the Rock ran for president, I would dress up as Hulk Hogan and I would stand outside the voting place. <laughs> There's only one person to vote for today, brother. That's what I, mean, I would brother. go in. I would go in. Who are you voting for? I mean, if you're going to be Hulk, I guess I would have to stand next to you and go, um, hmm. Don't say Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero. Eddie, Eddie Guerrero. Guerrero. I lie. I, I cheat. cheat. I steal. <laughs> well, Ed, who are you dressing up as? You got to get something. <sighs> If you got Hogan, you need Macho Man. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I mean, yes. That's, yes. that's the counterpart. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cream will rise to the top. What's crazy <laughs> is, is like, that's how he talked all the time. Oh, yeah, he couldn't turn it off. Yeah. Like, he became the embodiment of the character. So did Ric Flair, though, too. They were their gimmick. Uh, to be fair, that's Ric Flair. But that's what I'm saying. But that that's, was, yeah. that's that like, was Macho Man. Yeah. Like, they became... The person they were portraying. But supposedly, he talks about supposedly it. the Rick, like Macho Man, calmed down after wrestling. Supposedly he like sure. He, I mean, he died of a heart attack while driving a sports car. That's yes. the way yeah. to go. Yes. If you're the Macho Man. Fuck yeah. But like Rick, supposedly it's sad. Yeah. I was just, uh, I was just today. I was drinking with a buddy of mine I used to work with. He's pretty successful. He goes all over Florida, mm -hmm. and he he says that Rick Flair is like a joke over in Tampa. They said like mm -hmm. every almost every day if you go to a local bar in Tampa, you He's, can find Rick he's at somewhere. a bar stool. Yeah, and he usually gets kicked out of places. Wow, and like he's probably he's, belligerent. Well, he's going loud. in hard on that. Oh, I'm Rick Flair. Like he goes in on that. Like yeah, you know? yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a, he. He got kicked out of a pizza place. What the hell was it? He was going for some Hall of Fame thing. It was a WWE Hall of Fame thing. He was going to something, and he got kicked out of a pizza place. And online, he like belittled the pizza place. Right. He was like, "Oh, this place is a piece of shit." Me and my family were here. We spent all this money. Then the pizza place released the video. Yeah. 
Not a good look for Rick. No. Yeah. Rick should the They were being very calm and polite, and Rick should have left. Like, <laughs> you had 12 too many. Like, yeah. holy fuck. He probably recollected that situation a little bit the wrong way. Yeah. yeah. And he thought that because of his star power, he was going to shit on these people. But the truth comes out, and then you look like a piece of shit. Yep. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. that's what's going to happen And this you. guy, this one, like, younger guy at the bar, like, tried to fight Rick. Yeah. Like Rick was just like, what the fuck did you say to me? <laughs> I was like, oh my god, but no, like come on, man, don't. don't I mean, he's, he's, he can't, he's he can't old. be hitting an 80, yeah, 80 year old man. Eighty year old Rick Flair. He's old and he's lost in his sauce, man. Like, yeah, it's, I mean, he it's he was he's always been an unapologetic alcoholic. I mean, yeah. that's why like three yeah. of his marriages failed. Like yeah. he 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 doesn't hide it. Yeah. yeah, he is who he is. Who he is. No, he talks about it, but like that's part of like the thing that made him a huge success. Yeah. Is inevitably like his downfall when his career is over. Yeah. Cause he, right? well, it's, you can't turn that off. Like when he, when he traveled, like the life on the road for these wrestlers is hard. Like yep. yeah. you go almost like 340 days out of the year. Like you, yeah, don't, it's brutal, you never see your family. Brutal schedule. Yep. And you're all on pain medication. You're yep. all on some kind of drug to keep yep. you going. Yep. Um, and like Rick, like they said, when he went to like the doctor, the, the doctor was asking him, like, how much do you drink? Mm -hmm. And he was like, I, I drink like 12 beers and like six mixed drinks every day. And the guy was like, <laughs> the guy's like, you should be the guy, dead. The guy's like, yeah. well, how, how long have you been doing this? And like, Rick was like, he looked up at his head and he's like, well, that's 17 years. And the, <laughs> the doc was like, you drink 12 beers and around six mixed drinks every fucking day, every day for the last 17 years. He goes, yeah. Yeah, you should be no. dead. And the guy's like, I don't understand how you're here. Like, yeah. You, shouldn't, you be, shouldn't have a liver. Yeah, your body, your systems should have shut down by now. But there, there are certain people but he can't. He that have a it. much he higher can't. constitution than others yeah. that's built yeah. up over the years. Because remember uh, the older comedian, I think it was George Burns? Yes, yeah, cigars yeah. every day. Cigars yeah. and, and, and liquor. Yep. Every day, I believe it was. like, And he died like a ripe age of a 300 or something. When, when <laughs> Some guy, I mean, Ric Flair, you're right. He might live forever because like, yeah. he figured it out. He figured out that his body runs. <laughs> Come down there, what buddy. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> he figured out what his body runs on. Yeah. And, yeah. you know. Like, Alcohol. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, copious I mean, amounts of copious alcohol. Amounts of alcohol. Autism. Yeah. And yeah, he did. <laughs> Mild autism. <laughs> he, he, he literally, <laughs> they, they, they tell touch, stories about. Touch of the tism. Yeah, touch of the tism. A sprinkle, a sprinkle <laughs> of the tism. Well. They said Rick couldn't turn it off. They said like they would go out to even small towns and like everybody else would go back to the hotel and go to bed because they're playing and like <laughs> they're wrestling in some small town in yep. Kansas and he would go out to the local bar. They're Damn. like, Rick, this is a town of 300 people. There's yeah. no, he wouldn't care. Yeah. He would go out to the bar and drink till 4 a.m. Yeah. And, and it's I like, Rick. There's no one there. You yeah, know what? It There's no matter. point. What are you doing? You kind of got. You kind of almost got to respect. Like he's like, I have lived my life this way. Yeah, I'm going out this way. Like he probably yeah. is going. To, I couldn't do it's that. It's sad. Like, I couldn't. I no, have to be sad. a little conservative. Listen, I it's sad. It's sad. But to him, he's like, fuck it. I have lit. He he's burning hard. And yep. most people, they live that fast lifestyle and they go. He's just like that Viking that won't die. Well, the Macho <laughs> like, Man. He's that Viking that shows up and he's like. Please put me in one more yeah. battle. Well, the, I have seen the, all my friends die. <laughs> <laughs> the Macho Man was a psycho. He uh -huh. was a psycho, but he was like they said he was like really good at investing his money. Yeah, yeah. like Randy Savage put his money away in a lot of good places, and he made money where he was good. Like yeah. he didn't need you know another person that this shocked the shit out of me that mm -hmm. I found out he was good with money was Tank Abbott. <laughs> oh, in that podcast with Joe Tank Rogan, Abbott invested his money uh -huh. extremely well over the years. Yeah. Hmm. This man just drank beer in bars mm -hmm. and fought people for a living yep. and put away every penny. Here's the thing. He he married he set. married somebody no, who probably set. had the wherewithal to be like, we're going to take this, this money this and This isn't going to last right forever. It. Yeah. He put looks away good. Now. On yeah. the Joe Rogan podcast, he's I, gotten older, I couldn't but believe he that looks was healthy. I could not believe it was I'm him. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. That's Tank Abbott. That's, that guy used to scare the shit out of everybody. Yeah, like, he's got what? a crazy story because he almost died like three times. Oh, he had heart problems. Yeah. Steroids will do that to you. Yeah, he had some yeah. crazy, crazy issues in the hospital. He was there for quite some time. He died on the table a few times, I believe he said. Yeah. And he talked shit about everybody. Oh, yeah. There is he, wrote, he, wrote, he wrote some he's, books where he changed the names, but... It's a lot of incriminating shit. Like, yeah. you can tell who he's talking yeah. about. Yeah, he started saying, like, I wrote this fictional yeah. book, <laughs> quote unquote, yeah. about a person's life story traveling and fighting. He's like, I think he said plausible deniability. I'm like, bro, yeah. you can't. 
can't say that. That's that's, a, that's you can't yeah. say plausible yeah. deniability yeah. with the fake book you're putting out there. Now everybody's gonna read like religious because it's real. Yeah. People were people knew it anyway. It's yeah. like one once one person reads through it and goes, "Hey, wait a minute, this one story." And then you get person two that goes, that story, well, this story yeah. also. And, and then, then it's like, okay. And then okay. they put two and two together. We yeah. see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I Tank Abbott is a relic. Yes. He's from the, he's from the, when the sport's infancy. Like yes. When yeah. it first developed. He's but, literally there in the but beginning. But also a man's man. Yeah, and his he, his thoughts on stuff are, are really, I don't agree with him at all. Mm -hmm. Like, he says that fighting isn't a skill thing. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. says it's a primal thing. He's yeah. like, it's all about what you have in you. Like, I mean, this yeah. is a guy that would just drink at the bar mm -hmm. and like, he would go into a boxing yeah. gym and pick fights with people. You yeah. might be able to say yeah. that in the beginning of MMA and UFC where, yeah. where it really was just random motherfuckers. Right. Yeah. He, he doesn't you know, believe in doing weird, weird skills yeah, here and there. And then, but you can't do that anymore. You can't no. go in the ring and not actually be prepared yeah. anymore. Tank Abbott just lifted weights and fought people. And like, if you hear stories from like the places where he grew up, mm -hmm. like in California, like, like, like they, he was David Abbott and like, you didn't call him tank. Right. You called him tank. It was immediately a problem. And they said like, he got in so many bar fights <laughs> that it was like, it was ridiculous. Like all the police knew his name. Like it was just, his rap sheet was through the roof. Mm -hmm. Like he had been arrested like 10 times in a year. But for again, that's, people. that's another yeah. guy who was a victim of his own success, right? Yeah. It's his success was fighting. He's like, this is the thing I'm good at. And so you know there wasn't to, an outlet for him other you know than the bars train? and the streets. Do you know how he yeah. used to train? He would walk into a bar. He would lay $500 on the bar. And he would say, if you can beat my ass, you get the money. Fuck. That's how he trained. <laughs> That's a bad man. That's, That's how he would train. Now, and anyone, anyone yeah. could walk up and take, and take, and I'm like, dude, question, what the fuck is wrong with you? Question to you guys. You had a few drinks. God. Right? You're in a bar. Yes. And some guy... That looks like, like David Tank Abbott. <laughs> Abbott walks into the fucking room and slaps five hundred dollars on the table. And I says, ain't fighting him. Nah, I'm good. Nah. Because Tank Abbott, <laughs> Tank Abbott was two hundred and seventy five pounds, and he could bench six hundred pounds, and he looked yeah. like a biker. And like if you if he you did. think if you put these three words together, <laughs> biker gang enforcer together, yeah, the AI would create Tank, Tank Abbott, Abbott yeah. a young Tank Abbott. Like that's what he looked like. I agree. He was hard as shit. And like the way he used to hit guys, he'd knock them stiff. Yes. Like he would hit guys and they'd be fucking paralyzed. Yeah. Like they had to change the rules because he tried to throw someone over the cage. <laughs> <laughs> he lifted a man, a grown yeah. man in the air and was throwing him over the cage. And John McCarthy didn't know what to do. He's like, I, it's yeah. not in the rule book. Man. Yeah. You can't. It, it, yeah. And that's one of the things He's, he kept saying is like, <laughs> it's not in the rule book. <laughs> I got robbed. Yeah. <laughs> He submitted a guy with his head. Yeah. He put his head in the guy's mouth and crushed his face against the cage oh. and the guy tapped. Tank Abbott was a force. He yeah. was yeah. like So there is something to be said about how he did what he did. And he In a bar lived, fight, you want him. He lived You don't want the jujitsu that guy. Lifestyle. You, want, you want him in the bar oh, yeah. fight. Yeah, you want the wild it, animal. If, if he's in the group of people, people are flying. Yeah. yeah. People are flying everywhere. He's a savage. Speaking yes. of flying, did you see the MMA fight with uh World's strongest man. Eddie Hall. Eddie Hall. Yes. And the two regular motherfuckers. Yeah, the no, two little brothers. No, no. Dude, yeah. He threw the man like six feet. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's what that's happened. Pretty amazing. It's while while that's, that's amazing. fighting another while guy fighting. with the other hand. Yeah. He fought he fought two brothers at the same time. <laughs> and the time. guy gets up, starts coming at him, and he hits him with a left I'm like Jesus oh, yeah. Christ. The punch he hit him with. The, the yeah. left that he hit him with. Oh, he banished my the dude God. in the shadow realm. Like <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, this is a guy that held the record for a long time in the deadlift, right. and, and he held the work record in the, in the Viking press, yeah. which is just overhead press. I mean, you're talking about a 380-pound yeah. man. Eddie Hall yeah. is a monster. Yes. Built for just and, so and he it, trains lifting, boxing, large so shit. he knows how to punch. Yep. So if you get hit by that guy... You, and and you, it's funny. It's like, it looks no, like two small guys. No, it's like, oh, yeah. no, those are two regular guys yeah. Yeah. versus... An athlete that's a world's strongest man. Right. You just, the guy's skull is not designed Did to Did you ever watch a documentary about him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he is a man who knows how to promote. Yeah. He is a man who is a business onto himself. Yeah. What I don't like is how after the fight, they said, who are you going to call out in MMA? And one of the people he called out was Marius Pujanowski, uh -huh. who's a former world's strongest man who also has been fighting MMA. Mm. But he called out four again. 
Yes. And they said, what about Thor, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, Thor's too much of a pussy to fight me in MMA. And I'm like, you can't say that because he fought you in boxing and yeah. kicked the shit out yeah, of you. Yeah, he, he really kicked the shit out yeah, of like you. Yeah, like, he beat yeah. the hell out of you, Eddie. Like, yeah. you, like I don't know. I just looked at those, like, poor It was probably a good MMA. payday, so why not say it? Let's go to the beginning of it. So this is... Oh, my God. <laughs> he Look at it. Boom. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you can't even beat him two on one. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. He's he's a refrigerator. So what's next? Three guys? I mean, I don't know. Three guys? But th- to be fair, that's a league that's over in Europe that's called Freak he, Fight League. He, it literally puts on like he picks freak up, shows. He yeah. picks yeah. up and power bombs that guy with such ease. He tossed oh him. God. He tossed yeah. him like the way an Amazon guy. So you don't think a Baron Bolo would work against him? No. No. There's some. There's some people where you have to understand their athleticism. Yeah. And like. Like, I mean, if I rolled they, against, like, for instance, a guy with no experience in, uh, in, and, like, if I had a jiu-jitsu match against, uh, who's that one, the crazy running back? Oh, my God. The guy for fucking, um. Sandra Bullock. The Tennessee Titans, I think it is. No. <laughs> Sandra? From no. Derrick Henry. Speed? Listen. <laughs> Derrick, Derrick Henry is uh-huh. such a freak athlete that, like, if I went against him in, like, MMA or jiu-jitsu, he would kill me. Gotcha. Doesn't matter what I know. Yeah. yeah. Derrick Henry, I'm my body. I am not designed <laughs> sure. to compete against that level of athlete. Sure, like sure. he's designed to run through 300 plus pound men, and he drags them. Sure, yeah. I, sure. I am not meant to deal with that. Like I'm not capable. No, it makes sense. It's like when you watch the movie Troy, right? Yeah. Yes. And like everybody's fucking each other up, right? Boom, equally matched. And then there's always like one big motherfucking berserker yeah. with a log. Yeah. He doesn't even have like a regular weapon. Are, are, you, are, you, like are, are you talking about Ajax? Yeah, he's yeah. just like a full on <laughs> tree. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, like a, tr- it was like a tree. Swinging it in circuit. It was like knocking out like, 10 men at a time. It was like a tree with a rock on the end. Yeah. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. wow. That's a yeah, shit yeah. thing to get hit with. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, look, if I was in a legion of fighters and I'm fighting and I'm a bad motherfucker and I see like bodies just flying everywhere, <laughs> I'm just going to keep shifting over to the left, right? Yeah. I'm not going to run towards this motherfucker. I'm going to be like, you know what? We got somebody for that's, him somewhere. That's then, somebody yeah. else's problem. And then you got Goliath. You have like the, the biggest military disappointment in the history yeah. of the world. Like he gets killed with a rock by yeah. a child. Oh, fuck. Like, I mean, He wow. didn't see that coming. No, he didn't. He didn't. That's, that's basically the viper. Now, in I, Game I, of Thrones? I would say oh, this. Oh, yeah. Uh, have Prince, you, Prince Oberyn. Prince Oberyn. Have, yeah. you, have you seen a shot from an old school slingshot before? Uh, it would definitely kill you. Yeah. It would definitely kill you. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, actually, the slingshot was a weapon. It was a, yeah. that you could, oh, hunt, yeah. you could hunt with it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, I mean. To be fair, it, it's a legitimate weapon. But it still kind of fucks when, like, you know, you're the big man on campus. You're yeah. supposed to be this intimidating gorilla type motherfucker, and you get he taken out by a little, right in the little, forehead. Little, little, little shepherd boy hits you with a slingshot. Walks up there and drops your ass. I mean, yeah, yeah. that's that. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. Um, to, to finish off with, there's one thing that we are looking forward to unanimously. Yep. I would agree, and it's aliens. Yes, it yes. looks good. It uh, they they they're actually going back to uh to sci-fi horror to the roots. Yes. Yeah. It looks like a the original proper formula. aliens movie. You're in yeah. space. It's mm-hmm. dark. It's scary, and there's xenomorphs trying to get you pregnant yep. through your mouth. It looks good. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. That I mean, guy did not look like he enjoyed the xenomorph in his mouth the no, way that he no, did. It's, no, there's something creepy about that whole thing. Like yeah. Ridley Scott. Like yeah. created a very dark science fiction yeah. genre. Like the feeling of like having something lay an egg in yeah. you and yeah. then like rip through your oh, chest. Oh, and then the fuck the flashlight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She, yeah. Can, she can like see it in her. And it's yeah. a, they call them chest bursters. Like yeah. it's, it's blowing through your yeah. breastplate. Like, which I'm sure feels wonderful. Th- like from the No, because out. your chest plate is pretty thick. Is it's, it not? It's, it's pretty thick, yeah. but usually there's not like a alien chewing on the inside. Yeah, this is yeah. true. An acidic alien too yes. as well, right? So it's got acid for blood. Yeah. It, it procreates literally by killing something else. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's the, you know, if it's the perfect biological weapon, which is if you watch the movie Prometheus, yeah. that's why they were made. Yeah. yeah. They were, like, you know. I'm in. I mean, a this, super advanced alien race created the xenomorphs to wipe out other life forms. And this is the first time in a long time that I will absolutely say I'm looking forward to a prequel because usually I'm like, fuck all with the prequels. I yeah. don't need to go backwards in time. Let us progress the story. Yeah. Well, as long as they go in on what alien is an alien, you're supposed to feel isolated. You're supposed to feel afraid. You're yeah. supposed to have a sense of impending doom. Like we're trapped. We're going to die. Like yes. that's the feeling of it. Yes. And so the opposite of any movie Sandra Bullock was in, correct? <laughs> I mean, speed. I mean, really? Feeling of impending doom. Uh, Wasn't Keanu Reeves in that? Yeah. Yeah, but you speed. need good acting for that in order to sell that, right? 
She's an attractive lady. Though. Yeah. <laughs> so that makes up for terrible acting. It does sometimes. It yeah, does, I know? guess it does. I mean, yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. good-looking guys that, like, you yeah. know, they, they get by on things. Yeah, yeah. I, Henry, I, I mean, guess. Henry Cavill. Thank God he's a good actor too. Yes. But I mean, that guy. But no, you're right because there is a level of charisma that a person can have where you have you, you ever forgive been, them. Have I mean, you ever been wowed by Chris Hemsworth's performance? Have you ever seen one movie he's in and been like, there's the Oscar? That's. There's the Oscar. Ooh, yeah. No, he's um, just gorgeous. Ah, fuck. Here, you're Thor. Here, Thor. you're this. Yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah, don't yeah, give yeah, a fuck yeah, yeah. because he's Chris Hemsworth. You're not wrong. No. Yeah. I guess the same yeah. could be said about The Rock, too. There isn't any However, in the new, Oscar winning performances no, no. that The Rock is yeah. about. He's a big jacked guy. He's a big jack. He's Here charisma. you go, Dumbo. Yeah. Ray, Ray, ramp, ramp this car. Although, Stand next to Skim Beasel. <laughs> Skim Beasel. Although Skim Beasel. the rundown is still one of my favorite that rock movies good. of all time. Every now and then he does, you know, he you, you know, like the rundown. The rundown's not? funny as shit. He yeah. does. I mean, it was uh, he great. does pretty good with the comedy. He does. He does. He he does. does. When he's not, you know, he's not going to win for anything dramatic. No, but him comedy, and, he does solid. Well, him yeah. and Kevin Hart just need to stay away from each other for a while. Like, yeah, they, they did. Bit. They did a few too many too they're, quickly. They're doing yeah. like a buddy cop thing. Maybe yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, did like, the second one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did enjoy in the other guys. I did enjoy uh, the Rock and. Uh, Samuel yes. Jackson. They were they were a great fucking team because they were playing you a parody. The they were playing a parody of themselves. Yes, which is what John Cena does in Peacemaker when, when they jumped off the yes. roof and killed themselves. Oh my yeah. god! That was for the that's dumpster. One of, that's one of, for the dumpster. That's one of the, <laughs> that's one of the greatest fucking things oh, in a movie oh, ever. Man. They literally that just looked at each other, high fived, and jumped off a building yeah. and great. died. It's yeah. I was like, that's what? Yeah, 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 was, yeah. That's yeah. cinema at its peak. It was. It, ugh, fuck. That was so good. <laughs> well, speaking of cinema at its peak, tonight after this podcast is over, as a matter of fact, it's past nine o'clock right now. Yeah, so, so it's time. As to of jump right into now, it. the for the second season of Dance of Dragons is out. Fuck yeah. So with that said, Eddie, thank you for joining us at the Sofa Kingdom podcast where we're about to retire to go watch some Game of Thrones. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Hey, it's, the way the world, it's the way the world works. No, I don't make the rules. Hell yeah, man. Uh, good to have you guys back on the couch again. Yeah, uh, yeah. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Happy, happy Father's Day. Yeah. Happy Father's Day yeah. Ian. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. To, to what? <laughs> to what? I may have some kids out there. No, that's why I, I was in the car with Eddie and I said that to you. I'm like, I'm gonna send Happy Father's Day to you. <laughs> And he's going to look at this shit, and he's going to be like, this motherfucker knows. <laughs> well, at first I thought, I was like, oh, he sent in a group message, and I thought it was just me. Like, what the fuck's that mean? Like, Do you know something I don't? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. What? I already got damn kids. What? <laughs> Checks and in if, the uh, mail, if baby. I, if I do, Checks shit, in the someone, mail. someone else is raising them. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. You'll know them when you see them in Walmart. <laughs> Other man bun? It'll be the kid knocking all the other kids down. <laughs> He's got no facial hair, but he's got no, long hair. That's right. Son? Uh.